quick tiny little food shop i didn't even like make a list i just knew that i wanted to get a few items because i woke up today and thought you know what today i want to make a nice high protein food i for you guys but of the food i'm gonna cook i'm gonna highlight these specially just i bought these a few days ago and they are so good i've only got a few left at home and they are the salt and pepper chicken sausages from lidl pork sausages are like usually around 150 calories per sausage so those chicken sausages being 43 calories and they actually taste good like i ain't gonna lie to you they taste good it's definitely a win so if you're on a low calorie diet hot for that Today we are kicking off with a new recipe that I haven't done before, which is making egg muffins. My girlfriend made some for me about two weeks ago and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and replicate it myself. So hopefully this comes out well. Just going to add a little bit of salt. Alright, so here we have it. They smell good. Oh, by the way, if you want it... Ah, Jesus Christ, it's hot. This pan technically is meant to be for pancakes. I normally use these when I make my Kodiak pancake makes a nice and perfect size so if you want to do this recipe and you want them to look more like muffins then obviously buy muffin trays as for the calories and macros of this meal this is really low calories this is 200 calories well 201 calories one carbohydrate 11 grams of fat 22 grams of protein and 50 calories per one and it's like a nice little snack the way I've made it it almost comes out like little egg pancakes rather than muffins so if you're not super hungry and want something low calorie but high protein i would definitely recommend this recipe it tastes really nice i would probably recommend actually getting muffin trays because then muffin trays normally come with about eight or twelve slots and for that reason you can make more batches and then obviously you can put them in the fridge and have them tomorrow ideally when it comes to each of my meals i try aim to have them at least 30 grams of protein and that meal i've just shown you only came up to around 20 grams so in instances like this i normally have a protein shake just kind of bump me up a bit and the clear way is probably the lowest calorie one that i have and what i normally do is mix flavors so this is the cranberry and raspberry and i'm mixing it with it with matters fitness's cherry drops flavor uh, the reason I do that is because I feel like it tastes better. I think cherry drops on its own is a little bit too sweet for me. And the cranberry and raspberry one isn't sweet enough. So, so yeah. Also, something that I'd recommend, which isn't essential, is these mixy things that kind of like whisk it together. I ain't gonna lie, I thought they were stupid. My girl wanted one, so I bought one for her. They actually are pretty useful. We originally used them just for making homemade coffees. And it is really good at getting rid of like clumps out of the shakes. So it just tastes a lot smoother. Ugh. Can't forget your ice. And I'll tell you the funny thing. I used to not be a fan of the clear whey. I used to only prefer my old school regular whey proteins. However, they have made big strides. Like they used to have like a, in my opinion, an aftertaste and I didn't really like it. Like when they first came out like about two years ago. So in essence, when it comes to the clear whey, one of the reasons why I'd set up for that instead of the regular old school whey protein is simply because with the milk based protein, even though it tastes good and I still have it in my cereal, there's certain situations when I just wouldn't feel like having it. Because a whey protein with milk in it, it's more thick, it's more heavy. For example, that meal I just had now, which was the egg muffin thing. After having that meal, I probably wouldn't have wanted to have like a milky based protein after eating some eggs. It just doesn't really go together. Whereas because this is like juice, it just goes down a lot easier. All right, peeps, I'm going to give you a new find. It is the salt and pepper chicken sausages. Uh, they have a couple other flavors as well, but this is the only one I've tried so far. So what I'm going to do now is have four of these, and I just realized I've turned on the frying pan when I'm actually using the air fryer. If you haven't got an air fryer, I highly recommend one. It doesn't have to be a ninja, it can be anything. They just make cooking so much easier and quicker. Also, I switched to the lav mic. I think it just sounds better, so you guys let me know if you prefer. Okay, originally, I was using this. It's been around... 12 minutes i'm not gonna touch that with my fingers burnt myself enough today anyways now we're gonna use some brioche rolls for some reason my girl bought rolls that aren't pre-sliced that's that's a sin nothing fancy nothing crazy four sausages and two hot dog buns all right so the calories and macros for this is 413 calories 43 grams of carbs 13 grams of fat and 29 0.1 grams of protein so it's roughly 30 grams so i'll let it slide so yeah i'm just going to quickly have this now and this is definitely something you can definitely have when you're in a rush but yet still it's still a high protein meal at 30 grams of protein and that being said 30 grams of protein per meal is usually my minimum 
ideally i normally have a little bit more spread out so I'll try and have say each meal ideally 40 grams of protein per one but ideally i don't want anything lower than 150 grams of protein per day when i'm really on it i have 180 grams per day all right folks we are now going to have just two simple easy peeler oranges as after most of my meals i typically do want something sweet so yeah i'm gonna have two of those and then i'm gonna try and nail down some work and literally get my ass off this chair and go to the gym. Being stationary and sitting around, whether it's in a chair here, or even like if you're a truck driver or a bus driver, is one of the most unhealthy things you can do. What you need to do is make sure you make time for yourself to get up and exercise, whether that means going to the gym or simply going for a walk. All right, folks, so I've just come back from the gym and buying some stuff for the ingredients we're about to make now. If you've seen the ingredients, you should ideally know what I'm about to make. Buns, we've got the lean beef mince, and we also have onions. Just, the egg is optional. The egg is basically just essential as a glue. So what I'm going to do is try and make the burgers without the egg and see if it still doesn't stick together, then I'll use the egg. Some people also use breadcrumbs in it too. I managed to make the burgers. I will say one of them in particular looks like it might break. So realistically, I probably could have used the egg. But if you're really delicate, you won't need to. Uh, one thing I never mentioned is ideally, try not make them too, too thick or high, simply because it's much harder to make sure the inside cooks. Try and make a dent in them. I'm also not going to track the red onions because it's, it's damn near pointless. It's more just for flavor. All right, it's been around, ooh, I'm going to say about 13 minutes. Halfway through, I flipped them over. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you guys what I actually seasoned the meat with. Basically, I didn't go crazy. A little bit of all-purpose seasoning, a little bit of garlic and salt. And I also decided to add bacon to it as well. All right, I forgot to buy lace, so we're going to leave it there. And what I'm going to do is just put it in the microwave for like literally 10 seconds just to heat up the buns a bit. Sometimes I toast the buns, but because the cheese needs a little help melting, might as well put it in the microwave. And there you go, two very simple burgers. The macros for this, the one thing I had to make sure to do is to check the, the macros on the meat, because if you scan the packet when you go to Asda, they do it based on the cooked weight, but I like doing it off the roll weight, so I had to go search online for it. So the calories came up to 693, protein is 72 grams, fat is 18, and carbs is 58. So yeah, another simple but very high protein meal. And yeah, it's not even that hard, especially the fact I didn't have to use the egg and it still managed to stick together. If you're gonna make larger larger burgers though, I would definitely use an egg then because even though these were fairly smallish, they still started to break apart. So if you wanna make like a really nice, thick, wide burger, probably use eggs and you may have to use breadcrumbs as well. All right, folks, so as you know, after each of my meals, I typically like something sweet. So I either go for fruits or typically I'd go for one of these. These taste pretty damn good. Um, I'll talk about them in another video, but basically they taste good. If you see them, I would highly recommend them. But today, what we're gonna go for instead is this. I will say based on the calories, it's not great. This is, I think, 221 calories per one. Oh, that tastes good. I always say there's a phrase, there's good and then there's addictive good. Addictive good is the ones to try and stay away from because they taste so good, you can't buy multi packs of them because I will personally binge. This is probably in that category. I think if I want to have one of these again, I'll probably just get one off standard because these taste really good. All right, folks, we are back to have another meal. Uh, technically, what I plan on have right now was porridge, aka oatmeal, with peanut butter. But I think I'll probably have to switch it up simply because. Um, when it comes to what I've eaten today, I don't feel like I've had enough fiber. Like I haven't had as much high fiber fruits or snacks as I normally would or veggies. So for that reason, what I'm going to do is not have this instead. And we are going for the staple. Typically I have this for breakfast, but we are going to go for all brand mixed with some granola. And we are going to have the classic, you guys know the drill, adding in the cereal milk. Um, simply because my protein, I think at the moment, is currently around, I think, just under 150 grams. I want to leave it closer to that 180 I mentioned earlier in the video. So for that reason, I'm going to have one scoop of this. 
with almond milk and basically use that as the milk because everyone always asks me that when I say protein cereal like what they think that I mean like I've bought cereal that's made of protein and personally I've tried cereals that are like literally like the brands are like high protein cereal like the actual it doesn't taste that great I don't want to shit on the brand they sent me some out and they wanted me to do promo with them but I said no because I didn't like the taste of it so there'll be no point I said if I promoted it I'd be saying I didn't like it so um so for that reason I just didn't do it oh I just remember the brand, but I'm not gonna, actually I will, in case any of you buy it. The brand was called Golden Crunch. I personally didn't like the um, the cereal, to be honest. It had like a very dry taste. I wouldn't say it tastes terrible, but it just didn't taste good. And for that reason, I don't like recommending things that I don't think, you know, taste good. But anyways, when it comes to the protein cereal this way, when the milk's the actual protein, the key thing is to pick something that you actually enjoy. If you haven't got like something like ice cream flavor or cereal milk, I'd probably go with vanilla. You can go with others, like some people use chocolate, but me personally, I think less is more. I don't want something super, super powerful and strong because it, it then makes it hard for you to choose cereal toppings to use it. It might not taste good. So for example, if I use chocolate, back when I used to use blueberry wheat instead of this, it wouldn't have went with it. You know what I mean? Whereas vanilla and, and cereal milk almost goes with any topping that I use. You know, these cereals say recommend is like 40 grams or something. That would just be 40 grams and that looks like nothing. So I know when I don't track it, I definitely pour heaps in. That's one way a lot of people veer off when it comes to their calories when they have cereal. They think they're having near the recommended dose, but really the dashing way more out. Because normally that's why I put in as a base. And then usually when I'm eating, I then top up with more cereal. But yeah, in essence, so basically once you've got your protein shake, you pour it in there. You guys should know the drill by now. So the key thing I'd really say is that for those of you that don't eat a lot of fiber on a day-to-day -day basis, let alone weekly, I would definitely mix in all brownies people make it sound like it tastes terrible i personally like the taste of it you know what i mean once upon a time when i was a kid i probably never would have had it because i did think just based on the way it looks i thought it doesn't taste like crap but it does taste pretty good so if you're someone that suffers with bloating and you feel puffy all the time it may just be that there's a lot of shit still in your intestines that just doesn't get worked through your system based on the food you eat if you have a high fiber veggie and fruit filled diet then usually you don't need to have the extra but if you don't at least three to four times a week aim to have at least 40 grams of this. Anyways, this meal in particular roughly comes up to usually around 450 calories. I'll put it on screen. It's normally around 30 grams of protein as well. But as for the whole day now, when it comes down to nutrition, we are looking at just under 180 grams. So we're at 176. Fat is, a, fat is 65 and carbs is 193. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought my carbs were gonna be a little bit higher. But yeah, so that's where we're at right now. So that's roughly around 2,100 calories. And that just shows you, you can eat very food. And I also did fit in Oreos today. So that's a plus. So anyways, people, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you wanna see more full day of eatings. <laughs>